Hi, Auntie B. Hi, Cormac. That's a nice collection of wheels you've got there. Yes, indeed. I really love collecting wheels. Really good, Auntie B. And I've got a really good question for you. Who invented the tractor? The horse. <coughs> the horse? Well, not exactly, but the horse would have been very happy when the tractor was invented because before that, it was horses that did most of the pulling around the farm. But the tractor had more pulling power. Pulling power! Here's what the very first tractor would have looked like. It doesn't look like the ones we have nowadays. Can you spot the difference? Um, it's got a big steam pipe on it. No, well, yes, the first tractors were steam powered, but that's not the difference I'm after. There are no windscreen wipers. No, oh, well, yes, you're right. It doesn't have windscreen wipers. It doesn't even have a windscreen. Hey, would you like to see the inventor of the windscreen wiper? Her name was Mary Anderson, and she invented them way back in 1903. Good work, Mary. Oh, I've got it. Got what? The difference between the old tractor and the new ones. The wheels are different. Correct. When it was first invented, the tractor had wheels made of steel. But as the years went by, the tractor changed. Ah, now that one looks like the modern tractor. Auntie B, I have a question. How come tractors have small wheels at the front and big wheels at the back? Good question, and I can think of four answers. One, having small wheels at the front helps the tractor turn a lot easier, which is handy for going up and down the field. Two, tractors need big, wide wheels so they can grip the ground and pull heavy loads without slipping. Three, having big wheels means the farmer can sit up nice and high and see everything going on all around. Big wheels in the field, I'm a tractor. And finally, Four. Having big back wheels makes sure that the tractor never tips over backwards. Whoa! Hey, I think it's time for a Brilliant Invention Fact! Brilliant Invention Fact! Yeah! Did you know the biggest tractor in the world is about twice the size of a normal tractor? It's called Big Bud and its wheels are almost two and a half metres tall. That's as tall as Cormac with a baby standing on top of him. Brilliant invention. Yeah! Auntie B, tractors are so heavy and their wheels are so big. How come they don't get stuck in the mud? I mean, if a car or a bike were in a muddy field, it would sink into the mud for sure. Tractors don't sink in the mud because their wheels aren't just big, they are also wide, very wide. How does having wide wheels stop you from sinking? Aha! Leave it to me! I'm Auntie B. Auntie B, what am I wearing? You're wearing car tyre shoes because you're going to be a car trying to drive across a muddy field. Vroom vroom, I'm a car. Off you go. <sighs> I'm sinking, Auntie B. That's because all your weight is pushing down on your tyres, which are too narrow. We need something wider. Now you're a tractor. And my tractor tires are really wide. Yay! I'm not sinking. That's because your weight is being spread across those wide tractor tires. 
Wow, Auntie B, this is brilliant. But I better get cleaned up and go home now. All this talk of tires has me really tired out. 